My name is Dr. Shane Doyle, and thanks for tuning in today. And I'm a member of the Upsala Nation, uh, located uh, along the Little Bighorn and Bighorn Rivers uh, in South Central Montana. And uh, that song that I just sang was a doorway style song, and uh, it came from uh, a group up around Rocky Boy, the Rocky Boy Singers. And so uh, that song is typically sung uh, during the night and usually to entertain people uh, in their lodges. And then after the song would be sung in the old days, uh, people inside the lodge would come out and give them a gift uh, just to say thank you and a uh, show of appreciation for entertaining them and sharing their voices and their good medicine. And one of the things that we all love is live music all around the world. And so it's very nice to be serenaded and so thanks for giving me the opportunity to share that song with you. I'm here today at the Madison State Buffalo Jump. We're at the top of the area here where uh, thousands of years ago, for thousands of years, native people who lived in this region would uh, harvest bison by helping them to move over this cliff here. And then the bison that would fall over the cliff uh, would be uh, harvested and they would be used for food, clothing, shelter, uh, and many other different purposes. So this is a very important part of native history, native culture here in, in Montana. And I'm just so thankful that we can all come here as a public and enjoy it as a state park. I'm standing in an ancient stone circle and behind me here to the, to the southeast you can see a ridge line, and just behind that is the city of Bozeman, Montana. This rock cairn that I'm standing in right here uh, actually is a rock circle with no uh, uh, part in the middle that leads out to the edges. So it wouldn't be defined as a medicine wheel, uh, but it would be considered a ceremonial circle because it's too large to be a teepee. If you look at the diameter of this circle that I'm standing in, it's right around 15 to 18 feet in diameter. Um, and so that would be too large for teepee poles uh, to actually cross this space, uh, historically speaking. Another consideration is where would the teepee poles be harvested? and how far would they have to be transported to make it to this particular area. Uh, teepee poles that would be needed to cover a, a, a stone circle like this would have to be over 30 feet long. And that would be a, a very hard process to, to gather those types of poles and up to this area. 
So this was likely a place where people came to pray. They came here to offer their, their thoughts. Uh, they came here to show their appreciation for the way of life that they lived. And they believed that their uh, way of life was blessed through the ceremonies that they utilized.